My business is Agoki Learning Systems. It's an app development company and the company that I created uh, is positioned to take advantage of mobile and online learning and uh, it also has uh, a lot of um, relationship with uh, language learning as well. It's a First Nation company but it's not specifically targeted to First Nations. I saw a shift in technology with uh, the iPhones coming out, the Android phones coming out, and more mobile learning. So what I decided to do was target uh, specifically to education to take advantage of that uh, technology shift in mobile learning. Uh, it turned out that it was hugely successful and um, the industry unfolded in such a way that uh, my company was perfectly positioned to take advantage of uh, schools from uh, K to 12 as well as uh, post-secondary uh, education. One of the opportunities in Winnipeg in Manitoba here is that the Winnipeg School Division um, has started to incorporate uh, language learning in their curriculum. Uh, this particular shift benefits the company because Agoki Learning Systems provides uh, language software and language education tools uh, on the mobile device, the iPad, the iPhone, and the Android system. Creativity is a funny thing. Um, what I found with uh, creativity is that it's not just the look and feel of something. Creativity comes from within and we really start to get inspired by opportunities and we get inspired by changes. Uh, some of my most successful ideas have been you know just off-the-wall ideas and uh, one in particular was to release the source code and uh, it turns out you know two or three years later it was uh, featured on the Nationals website, uh, CBC Canada Now, uh, Global TV and it really took hold and uh, it was a backwards way of doing something but it really had its advantages and it was very hugely successful and that was the creative process that allowed me to do that. 80% of my clients are in the United States where the language isn't that um, strong and you may have you know four or five language speakers left and they are now turning to innovative ways to teach and engage the youth and what I found is that my company is an excellent fit for these tribes here that uh, are willing to you know, promote and use new technology in their classrooms because they can't bring in a teacher. My company is, doesn't just provide app development services, my company provides uh, consulting on how to best approach these problems with learning. We're doing something that other companies aren't doing at all. We're releasing our complete source code for free to develop your own language app. I'm about 38 years old right now and uh, throughout my entire business career I've probably owned about six or seven companies and really only two of those companies were a success. The way that I react to failure personally is I will pull up my socks, I will see where I went wrong and I will see what I can salvage from that failure. Um, what can I take away from it? Uh, how do other people feel about that failure? And then I'll move on to the next project or I'll somehow modify my game plan to uh, accelerate uh, growth within that failure. And even though I spent you know, thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars on these uh, failed companies, I think that's the greatest education that one person can have is that being able to identify success through all the failures. I remember when I was young, uh, when I was maybe 20, 21 years old, uh, I was operating a company that um, I remember that year we had made uh, just over a quarter million dollars in profit and I had about five employees at that time and at 21 years old you think that you know what the world is your oyster everything is owed to me and that I was privileged enough to um, be demanding and what I found that was I was just absolutely ruthless as a business person as a person and uh, it wasn't it wasn't really a lot that other people were doing um, to make me feel that way. It was something that I felt inside. That company later uh, was one of my biggest successes and that company was also one of my uh, biggest failures in terms of uh, the way that I treat people.